Okay, hello to whoever's watching. If anyone is watching, this is my first video. Um, for this video, I am just doing like a little, like what I, everyday makeup, what I do. I love doing makeup. One of my real passions, I'm not just saying that, like I really do love makeup and looking at makeup. I am being a little shy today, but it is exciting to do this since I'm like, you know, whoever is watching me, thank you so much for even clicking on this video. And if you want to know, uh, what is a makeup look I do pretty much every day? Please keep on watching. It's not a tutorial, it's just, I'm not gonna call it a tutorial. As I was saying, it's just me kind of doing my makeup for fun. Okay, I wanna make sure I'm alone in the apartment because then, you know, it's weird. It's the NYX Eyebrow Gel. So this is what I use for my eyebrows. I um, I would always be scared to like, use gel, but I started watching um, Les Do Makeup uh, years ago and she kind of started off like she was only doing Facebook lives and I noticed um, she would use this one and so I started using it and I really liked it because before I would use the uh, Anastasia the pomade the dip brow pomade and that's the one I would use before wouldn't really like the shade match if I went like a shade darker I wouldn't like it either so I started using this in the shade espresso I tried it and I loved it and since then I've been using it maybe for like it's probably been like a good year or two years so I use that and then I use my Anastasia, I believe it's the number 12. It's already erased off, but that's the brush I use to fill in my brows. I use the Maybelline concealer. Um, it looks like this. Sorry if it's a little nasty, dirty, but I use this one um, to carve out my brows under in the shade um, Sand Sable. So I just kind of place a little bit under the brow. This brush is by e.l.f. It's the uh, professional eyeshadow brush. Go in with my beauty blender and I just blend that out. I do have lash extensions. I just got them yesterday so I always try to not get makeup on them. I try to be really careful. I don't want some crusty you know lashes. I have good eyebrow days. I have bad eyebrow days and today is a bad one. Um, but we will continue and I do like to use the no pore blend primer. It looks like this I think it looks better right there. I use this to um uh, As a primer I this one was sent to me in the boxycharm box So that's why I I started using it and I like it. I think um, It does cover up. I don't have like large pores, but I do have some little pores right here that I'm a little insecure about <music> are so bad they're so dark my favorite foundation this is the one I use I've used seriously for years this is a Too Faced uh, the Born This Way foundation this is the one I love it's the one I use um, I use it in the shade natural beige <coughs> so what I do I pretty much just kind of put some on my face like this I don't like putting it straight onto the beauty blender because I feel like it just it, it'll soak it up like right away so this is my first video so I should probably say a little bit about me I am 22 <coughs> no I am 22 years young not old we're only getting younger over here I am originally from Firewall, California. It's a super small town. Um, so usually people from outside ask where I'm from. I think not only me, but I think everyone would just say Fresno. I mean, it's like 45 minutes away from Fresno and no one's gonna know Fre Fireball, sorry. I'm currently living in Fresno though. I'm out here doing it on my own, being independent or whatever. It feels good to kind of, you know, be out here on your own. At first, it is kind of, it is hard to um, adjust to that. You know, I don't have my mom here to cook for me anymore. The ugh, She makes the bombest food. She is the best cook ever. Uh, I go out when I want to go out. <laughs> Basically, that's the, the most exciting part. The only exciting part, because, you know, bills aren't exciting or cooking isn't exciting. That's that um i don't know what else i could say oh my god that scared me. the lash extension just fell out right now it's okay 
I do have them like really full right now. They'll last a little longer and as they fall out, it's gonna start looking a little more natural. So I kind of did like a thin layer of foundation. I didn't really do too much. Um, I think I'm gonna do a little more just um, if I do go out so it could last me all night. Remember, bring it down the neck, ladies. You want your face to match your neck. Since I do do foundation before I start doing my brows, um, which I know a lot of girls do brows and then start doing the foundation around, but then I know I'm gonna fuck up my brows or something. And I feel like my brows stay on a lot longer when I have foundation under. Okay, so once I've done my foundation, then I'm going in with my favorite concealer, which I always recommend to my friends. I always, you know, I'm um, like, this is my holy grail right now. It's, I think this is the second or third one I go through. It is the Huda Beauty, the overachiever, achiever, the overachiever concealer. This is my favorite concealer. I do use the shade uh, Graham Cracker. Um, this concealer is a little kind of close to my foundation. Uh, so I then do use the one I had used before, the Maybelline concealer, since it is a little, a little lighter. I do kind of pair them together that way um, I have like the full coverage from this since this is a really nice full coverage concealer and then this one just to kind of lighten it up a little bit under the eyes um, directly put this under my eyes I do kind of go into like my inner corners of my eyes and then I just do a little bit right here and then a little bit down the nose just to kind of brighten it up a little bit there and then sometimes not all the time my chin just to um, highlight those high points of the face oops now I wish I could play music because I'm kind of it's kind of boring doing my makeup with like no music but I haven't tried the shape tape um, I was um, going to purchase it but then uh, a girl there she was like um, they tell me that that one's kind of a little too dry like it's a dry concealer and my under eyes are already pretty dry um this one i haven't noticed it's that it's extremely dry tip i do still want to try it um since i know that one has a lot of hype and everything i'm gonna blend it out over on my lid too that way it's kind of setting um the base for the shadow a setting powder this is the one i been using also for a while. I think this is like the second one I go through. It is the RCMA, um, the original no color powder. Um, this one I started using it because um, Katie or Luster Look, um, she said it was pretty good and it's really cheap. It's only like $12 online. You can only purchase this one online. Um, I do love this one. And then one of my friends, um, I knew she was using it. <sighs> Shout out to them. So this is like the most messiest part. Do you use um, the same beauty blender that I was using? Um, just because I can't find my other one. Okay, down my nose a little bit too, the part that I highlighted. And then I bring it up too. I get really oily, kind of like above my eyebrows all the time. So I do always place some right there. JS2 brush. I don't really let it set on my face too long. Like, I know a lot of people do, but and then I feel like it gets too cakey and like um, my under eyes, I said, is kind of pretty dry down there. So I don't like leaving the powder on for too long. I just don't use um, another like extra powder because I don't like looking too powder powdery, sorry, or like too, too matte. Excuse my dirty um, makeup. I just, I always grab it with my dirty hands and I never clean it. So this is the Kat Von D Shade Plus Light Contour um, Palette. Oh, this is really dirty. I'm embarrassed. So this is um, what it looks like. I've obviously hit pan on like two of them already. Okay, so as I was saying, the JS3 brush looks like this, the Jeffree Star. And I do use um, the, the ones that I've hit pan on already. My, my cheekbone. With this one since it is a lot um, smaller than like the the big one I go in with after it's like a little harsh at first but then once we blend it out with the other brush it looks um, a lot more natural this is actually um, a blush brush but I do use it to um, pretty much like go over my um, contour it is by um, 
it brushes so then I take again those two shades from the palette and then I just kind of go over that and I just do the fishy face warm up um, around my face a little bit right here I cover FX um, palette it is a perfector face palette the blush down here um, it's in sublime this bigger brush it is also um, by the it and it's a powder brush so I kind of just grab a little bit I would never use um, blush ever um, just because I've always kind of been more of like a darker complexion so I felt like blush looked ridiculous on me but recently I've been kind of really digging it so I smile and I apply oh I think a little went a little overboard with that hmm it doesn't look that bad in the mirror but on camera it looks like I applied hella blush or it's just me because I don't really like using blush so much. So like I add a little bit of blush and I'm like, oh shit, this is too much. My concealer and foundation has been creasing over there. So I kind of go in, blend it out. And then whatever leftover translucent powder I have on my beauty blender, I use that. I've set it. If you have lashes on already, it makes makeup so much faster. Shit, I'm looking good. Or am I looking like a clown? There's like no in between. I'm either looking good or I'm looking like a damn clown. <laughs> Clean that up later. Uh, my everyday eye palette is the um, This Dose of Colors, the collaboration they did with Desi and Katie. It is the Friendcation palette. I love this one. I love the packaging. It's so cute and sparkly and, you know, so me. Beautiful. So I always get the shades. Basic and necessary oh, so true large eye blending brush it's by Luxie uh, 250 I, with this one and then I grab a little bit of that one use those two and I just blending around the eye and I kind of bring it down my nose um, order these brushes from Sephora. It's the makeup by Mario um, times Sephora. Did only get the eye brush set since I already have plenty of face brushes. Um, what I don't really have the eye brushes. So oh, I'm gonna get it so dirty. Little pouch. They come in it's super like sleek and nice. You know, so Mario. And then I have my brushes in here already. So this is what they look like. They're a lot more like smaller. Um, but I did see Mario said it's because they're a lot more practical. I'm going to use these right now. It's the first time using them. They're brand new. Just um, got them yesterday. Okay, so I'm actually going to start with uh, this one. It's the shadow brush. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to go in with that one. And um, I always do go in with the shade Churro and Chins. So Churro and Chins. I get those two shades too. And I, that's, um, I pop that in the outside corner of my eye. Ooh, this is really soft. I'm just kind of placing it. I'm not really trying to blend it with this brush. It's like i doing my eye makeup. I just, I wish I was really good at it. And I'll go in with the Jeffree JS5 brush. And I'll kind of get a little bit of that. And just kind of blend it out a lot better. All the way in. Okay, now I'm gonna go with the Mario, um, the blending brush. Put it out a little more. Ooh, this brush does blend pretty freaking well. And then I do go in with the large um, eye blending brush again, just to uh, bring everything together. Oh, no. Damn it. I have shit falling all over the place. The James Charles the Mini Palette. It was just given to me um, for Christmas as a gift. I love it. Basically the same as the original one, but mini version. So I do get the Morphe M166 brush. It's basically um, a flat brush at the end. The shades canvas and flashback. Oof, a lot of excess. And I just kind of carve out the lid a little bit. I don't like 
using concealer to like cut the crease or anything I feel like that's just too harsh like that's just I don't know and then I can't ever like make it even or make it look right so I'll either do this every time or I'll grab just a kiss from the um, Friendcation palette and it's this one right here so if I don't do this like the um, with the James palette I'll go, go ahead and grab that nice glitter right there and it looks just really cute Mario brush again to just kind of blend the edges out. Grab the smudge brush from the Mario um, Sephora collection and I'm gonna go in again with the two first shades and do that in my lower lash line. Then I am gonna go in a little bit with the churro um, shade from the same palette. Use, um, I basically have like three different setting sprays that I use depending um, you know the day or the night or whatever I'm gonna go do so usually um, I do like to use a morphe continuous setting mist spray and then um, excuse my dirty ass um, urban decay the alt nighter one two the setting spray this one I do like to use it when I know I'm gonna you know go out and you know maybe go dancing or um, things like that so this one I know my makeup will stay on all night so I do like to use the skin and company Roma I don't this one was sent also um, with the a boxy charm subscription so this is a radiant dew um, it looks like this and it kind of it gives you more of like um, illuminating dewy makeup look so this one I do like to use it more like um, if I'm just gonna do like a light you know makeup and then you know go out in the day My back is tired, honey. I'm like sitting on my bed making this video. I have back problems. So I was like, just does everyone have back problems? I hope everyone does because this is not normal at my age. Highlight. Um, I still have this little mini one that I got from Sephora. Um, it is the Becca the Champagne Pop. It's been my favorito for a very long time. Mm. God, I love highlight. It's just like, oh. y'all see that grab a little bit of that with my finger and then put it at the tip of my nose Ooh! whoa it looks so crazy damn on the cupid's bow the morphe e36 brush it's like super um small detailed precise brush and I grab a little bit of that highlight and I put it on the inner corner of my eye just to highlight a little bit right there not too much um, mascara to my bottom lashes so I'm gonna use the Too Faced um, better than sex mascara who else makes faces when they're applying mascara I'm like I cannot find for shit um, the lip liner I used to overline my lips so I guess we're just gonna go straight into the lips. So annoying. Okay. All right. Tuh. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. What I'm gonna use for my lips is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Stip in um Celebrity Skin. That's the one I'm gonna use. Who loves Jeffree Star? I freaking love Jeffree Star. I was so sad when um that video he uploaded that. Um, Nate and him broke up. Oh, I love them so much. With this um, same lip, since I cannot find my lip liner, I'm gonna just try to like overline my lips a little bit. This is I'm not really a fan of like matte lips, um, just because my lips can be like really freaking dry, especially in the winter. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the lip gloss. I unfortunately don't have like a nudish lip gloss. Uh, the Chris. Chris and Dominique um, Lemonade Lip Gloss and Peach Tea. So I'm going to go over with that over the lips. Um, it's kind of like pinkish. Let me see how it'll look. Oh, it's actually not going to look too bad. And it smells really good. It smells like candy. Oh, so, yeah, that was 
my everyday pretty much um, makeup look. I did just literally cut off like three inches of, of my hair today. I cut my hair myself. This is the second time I cut it myself just because I do notice that it grows a lot faster than like when other people cut your hair. I mean cut my hair. Um, just you know like what they say like I don't know if it's like with everyone or like only the Mexican culture but you know like these think you know if like a person with like bad vibes or something like that cuts your hair um, then you know it doesn't grow or whatever but you know I have all the best vibes so when I cut my hair it's um, it grows out pretty quickly so I did cut off like three inches right now last like a month ago I did cut off like um, a good like four to five inches and it grew pretty fast I used to have my hair like up to here I'm not even kidding I, I posted you know start a YouTube channel and stuff and like people were being supportive I love you guys no, but yeah, you know, telling me like, oh, you should do it. People that don't even know me were like, yes, I'd watch you. You guys enjoyed watching me. Um, if you didn't, well then thank you for giving me a view anyway. <laughs> yeah, thank you for watching, whoever did watch. And um, maybe see you in the next one if this does get uploaded. Oh, <gasps> su madre.